Hello friend, uh, myself Rakesh Roshan from Learn Tech to Tech channel. Today we will see how to download and install MySQL. So let us see first uh, just you uh, write the download MySQL for Windows 10 or something else. Then you see that uh, just click on the first link and after clicking on the first link it will uh, display the uh, MySQL website that is here you see that dab.mysql.com and uh, uh, now you select the come to the um, bottom part and just you select suppose that you are installing or you, uh, you want to download for windows then just here you can select the uh, window always as well as you can select other operating system here you see that uh, there are two options are already displaying here first one is msi installer then uh, in the below if you read the content then you see that mysql installer web community and second one is mysql installer community that that means first one if you install first one then it, it must require the internet for downloading all the uh, necessary files but whenever you install this uh, second one that is mysql installer community then it will be it will be, it will be execute or install you can install the mysql from this without uh, using the internet so i am downloading this so whenever you click on the download option then it will start download but suppose but suppose if you are using just the website dev.mysql.com suppose that if you are using this that uh, this type of website you are opening only the website then go to the download option this is second option go to the download option then after click on the download option just go to the last page of the uh, screen and just click on the mysql community edition and whenever you click on the mysql community edition then after that there are lost lot of options are there mysql cluster router utilities mysql community server just you click on the mysql community server and whenever you click on the mysql community server then it will display uh, here the uh, mysql community server microsoft windows or here you can select, uh, select anything like suppose you want to download for ubuntu or debian or anything then uh, but here i am downloading for microsoft window then uh, you can also select the 32 bit or 62 bit but uh, i am uh, using the by default option then after that these are the different different options for different 32 bit 64 bit but uh, here just i click on the go to the download post, uh, page that is mysql installer when whenever you click on the go to download page then it will again display the same window which is displayed earlier and you click on the download option that is second one because first one already i told that first one is the web community so i will click on the second one whenever you click on the download the page will ask for you to log in or sign sign up but you can uh, you can log in as well as you can sign up by the oracle web account but if you don't want then there is no need to log in or sign up just you can click no thanks just start my download so whenever you click on the no thanks just start my download then it will after few minutes or a few seconds it will start downloading. so you see that the downloading is already started but i am cancelling this downloading because i already downloaded this software here you see that my sql installer community so i will double click to install this software mysql just i will double click on the uh, mysql installers so you see that uh, it will uh, preparing for installation on the screen I ask you that uh, you want to allow this app to make changes to your device or not i will click on the yes it will starting the uh, again uh, your uh, operating system will ask for the to launch the mysql installer launcher just i click on the yes see that uh, this uh, launcher trying to install the first screen will be uh, 
will be look like that just you uh, accept the agreement then click on the next and you just uh, put all the things in the default option because I want to install the developer default just uh, after that I will click on the next after just you click on the next on the next then I will click on the execute now all the products is uh, is already the installation is complete for the uh, products which are displaying on the screen now I click on the next then I click on next then there will be two options for the type and networking I will uh, install as a, a standalone MySQL server then uh, these are the uh, uh, next screen will ask for your uh, port number or something I will put uh, I will uh, keep this as a by default then uh, it will ask for your MySQL root password and report uh, repeat password so just I will uh, give the password according to me then uh, then your uh, again uh, this screen will ask for the add uh, user account uh, suppose you want to add any user then you can add here so I will add uh, one user and that is username is rroson and obviously that will be the db admin and password is one now I will click on the ok so I have already uh, I am already created the one user also now I will click on the next then next again I will click on the next then execute then again it will take some time so already you see that our installation is already completed now I will click on the finish button I will click on the finish then uh, again it next then uh, he they are asking for the checking I just uh, will just uh, click on the check connection successful that means key your uh, connect to the server that means your mysql connection to the server is also uh, successfully uh, done now you will click on the next then execute again it will take some time for applying the configurations now you see that uh, already finished our all the configurations for now i will click on the finish then again now I'll click on the finish. The installation is already completed. Now I click on the finish. Then you see that uh, the MySQL uh, prompt is displaying. That means uh, our MySQL is uh, successfully installed in our system. Okay, uh, already our installation is completed. Now uh, I will check that uh, our uh, MySQL is working properly or not. For that, uh, just you uh, just you type mysql and click the mysql command line uh, client then just type your password and uh, now your mysql prompt will display in screen now for checking that uh, your uh, uh, mysql is working or not just I have written select 56 plus, uh, plus 67 from dual just I am calculating the addition for 56 plus 67 then you see that result is displaying that means our mysql is already installed successfully so i hope you find uh, this video uh, well and uh, please like my video and also if you have any query then uh, then comment on the comment section and also share my video with your friends and clicks and please subscribe my channel and also click on the bell so that you will get notification of every my new video thank you and goodbye